Hello, my name is Megan Dell. I chose option one for critical thinking assignment five. Um, option one is inter individual interventions. Um, this is for human resource management 460 with Dr. Yarbaro. And today is August 27th, 2020. As an HR specialist, my position is one of the most important aspects of any organization. Being an HR specialist requires great expertise and competencies to execute the role effectively. Based on the competency model, my greatest strength as an HR specialist or strengths um, lies in critical evaluation, consult, consult, consultation, consultation, sorry, leadership and navigation, ethical practice and HR expertise competencies. In terms of critical evaluation, I can effectively interpret information with which to make corporate decisions with, recommendation, with recommendations as well. Regarding consultation competency, I am able to offer guidance for organizational stakeholders. For the leadership and navigation competency, I am capable of effectively directing and contributing to processes and initiatives within the organization. Um, concerning ethical practice competency, I can easily integrate core values, accountability, and integrity all through all business and organizational practices. In terms of business, I have the ability to understand and apply information with which to contribute um, through the organizational, organizational practice and what um, the company's strategic plan is. And finally, in terms of HR expertise competency, I have the knowledge and understanding of practices, principles, and functions of an efficient human resource management. All these competencies have enabled me to be successful in my position and to lead employees towards the achievement of the organization and their goals. However, regardless of all of these strengths, there is one competency that always places me at a disadvantage in my HR position. This competency involves communication, which I require improving upon to gain a great competitive advantage as an HR manager. Communication competency refers to the ability to effectively exchange information with the organization stakeholders. As an early manager, I need to develop a number of communication skills, which are mandatory for my role. According to the Society of Human Resource Management, competency model and communication competencies I need to improve upon at an early HR level. They may include ability to demonstrate support for HR organization initiatives and communication with the stakeholders, quickly respond to stakeholder issues through verbal, written, and digital communication, produce free from error and accurate communications, um, produce documents also free of error and reports. Um, I need to be able to communicate policies, culture, and procedures to existing employees as well as new hires. Resolve any employee problems or if I can't, direct them into the right, uh, direct them in the right place. <clears throat> to ensure that I improve my communication competency weakness, the first personal intervention will to be to attend a short training course in communication and its basis. I believe attending this course will help me understand the components, the component, components of effective communication and how to manage communications between senior management and employees. The second intervention will include reducing social and speaking anxiety. An important aspect here involves how communication is delivered. The primary thing to understand is getting my delivery where it requires being and making my performance without fear or with very little anxiety. According to Dev 2018, lack of sleep, inappropriate nutrition, dehydration all play a role in uh, all play a part in setting one up for failure prior to even presenting, even in meetings. Meditation is an excellent tool that will help me tie into my anxiety reduction. Another strategy I will take to improve my communication competency is taking into consideration the background of my listeners. 
to link with my audience, it'll be vital to take into account where they originate from. For example, are they my fellow professors, managers, or are they my juniors? Are they East Asian or Western, cult Western culture? All these factors make an individual who they will, who they are will come into play. <clears throat> what might be an entertaining joke regarding hamburgers to one individual might be offensive to another, for example. These are the things I need to bear in mind. Another strategy I will take to improve my communication competency is practicing it. There are many means of improving my capabilities in terms of communication competency or the ability of speaking or writing effectively. According to Deb 2018, such are the things one may practice daily and I believe I will do this. I believe that success is the after effect of habit and positive habits are formed via, rep via repetition, repetition. I can constantly do things like focusing my posture as to making efforts to improve my overall lifestyle to improve my communication performance. I will read, write, as well as talk to people daily while taking note of my interactions. From this, I can keep on improving my areas of weakness until I become a better communicator. After the implementation of the above interventions, my desired result is to become a rejuvenated HR communication specialist with the ability to demonstrate support for HR organization initiatives and communication with the stakeholders. Quickly respond to stakeholder issues with, through verbal, written, or digital communications. Produce free from error and accurate communication. Produce documents and reports free from error. And be able to communicate policies, culture, and procedures to all employees, old and new. Resolve any issues with employees or direct them in the right way and also notify senior management if I have any um, concerns or issues. <clears throat> Possessing all of these communication skills will not only be valuable to my professional and personal growth, but it will help me improve my organizational culture in a number of ways. A major attribute of culture is an excellent communication and the way in which information is exchanged and shared within the company. By having effective communication competency and also fostering effective communication in my organization, it will help the company's internal processes running and working smoothly. And it will help establish positive relationships with individuals internally and as well as outside of the company. Effective communication will create an information sharing culture in the organizations leading to exchange of ideas among employees and between management and employees. Thank you for listening.